Good morning, peeps. I don't go live on this page very often, but, um, our world is failing. Not our nation, our world. The Sudan is under a blackout, an information blackout. No news coming in, no news going out. Imagine if they had been able to hold that in Gaza. Yeah. We know European nations and Israel play games in Africa. They want the resources. They want the gold. They want the, um, the oil. They want the lithium. We don't care about the people. We, it's about what we can get for our country. Niger kicked out France. France, who was saying, oh my goodness, the children in Africa. See the little swollen bellies? See the little flies around their eyes? Yeah, we have a puppet in office who allows us to dry, buy lithium at 80 cents a fucking pound. On the world market, it goes for $200. So, it's not hard to put one and one together and figure out that if France is getting lithium at $0.80 a pound, and it's supposed to be selling for $200 a pound, who's getting hurt? Oh, right. Those who are born and raised in those trees, they're the ones getting hurt. It's like back in the day, um, people, sharecroppers, they were only allowed to keep like 2 to 3% of the corn that they were growing. You better find a way to survive off of 2 to 3% because the person who they're paying got the rest of the duckies, the rest of the benefit of their hard work. This is something I really wish people understand. America, Canada, Australia, Germany, England, France have been pimping out the continent of Africa forever. Colonization didn't end. It just changed. That's it. It just changed. Understand this. And it's happening today. Right now, the Congo, you, you, you don't hear anything on ABC, Fox. BBC isn't saying a damn thing. I really hope Al Jazeera, I know they're focused on Gaza. I know they're focused on that slaughter. But I really hope that Al Jazeera and Reuters send someone down to the Congo. Because we need information. Because we know shit's happening in the background. Absolutely. It's time that we pull that bandage off. It's time that we rip that fucking bandage off. And be able to name the countries that are abusing and using the continent of Africa. The reason I bring this up is because Al Jazeera is all over Israel, all over Gaza, like white on rice. I request that they try to put that same focus on the Congo. Yeah. During World War II, at the very beginning of World War II, America turned a blind eye to what was happening to Jewish people in Germany. Yeah, we, we literally sat around going, oh no, it can't possibly be that bad in Germany. I mean, pfft. no, we did that for years. And during the time we did that with our arrogance, people died. We're doing the exact same thing here. We pulled funding for humanitarian aid for Gaza. Because supposedly, what, eight people were supposedly involved with Hamas. So, 
over a million people needing food, medical care, medical supplies, medications. What? Let's say eight people. Excuse me? And we did this on the word of Israel. We did this on the word of what Israel said. But we jumped to it. Stop that humanity. And excuse me, I believe it was um, Belgium who refused to stop sending aid. Who was keeping their aid center open in Gaza. And mysteriously, Israel bombed it. Because they didn't like the fact that they said, fuck you. We're going to continue to send food and aid to people in Gaza. And I hate to say this, but England, hey. You didn't bat a fucking eye. You didn't call them on that bullshit. You said they'll explain why they bombed that humanitarian aid center. America. Blinken, specifically. Did not hold them accountable. And say, why the fuck did you bomb that humanitarian site? It supplies aid to starving people. But you bombed it. Oh no, I, 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 I've been thinking about this all night, Jan. I usually don't. This is going to be a little short that I will repost over on YouTube. Because I want an answer. When do we start calling them on their bullshit? It's been two weeks since they bombed that aid center. Since they claimed they arrested eight people who participated with Hamas on October 7th. And I'm still waiting for any member of the Israeli military to be held fucking accountable for the death of over 10,000 children. See... My parents taught me, somebody lies to you once, maybe they didn't mean it. Maybe it was some kind of, if they lie to you twice. Mm. Yeah, don't give them a th third time to lie to you. And Israel has lied over and over and over again. They keep saying, you can't be anti-Semitic. Calling somebody on their fucking lies is not being anti-Semitic. When you can bring the receipts that what the fuck they're doing is wrong, that's not being anti-Semitic. See, if you bring a fact to me, I don't care if you're black, white, Jewish, Christian, Baptist, I don't care. You need to be called on it. And it's time for Israel to be called on it. Don't get me wrong. Our presidents have been supporting Israel for 70 fucking years. You want to call Joe Genocide Joe? Go right ahead. Then call Carter Genocide Carter. Call Bush Genocide Bush. Call Clinton Genocide Clinton. Call Obama fucking Genocide Obama. But understand your fucking nation. This is not new. Some of y'all who have had your head buried in, buried in the sand. Israel has had a problem. And it's Netanyahu. So you better start chanting Netanyahu. Genocide Netanyahu. And Germany? Yeah, you popped your ass out there. Um, <coughs> um, yeah. They called you on your bullshit. Over 20,000 black people slaughtered. 1910. They didn't have the word genocide. They created that for the Jewish people. They didn't create it for people of color. Even though more people died at the hand of Germany than those of the Jewish faith. Keep that shit in mind. But they don't call that a genocide. They haven't paid reparations to them. Wonder why. Mm. Yeah, you got to think this shit through. See, I don't come on this page often to do lives, but 
this kind of kept me awake last night. I'm going to do another short live over on my other page. Oh, he's still there. Blinken's been back and forth. They're sending the wrong person because Blinken's going to asking Netanyahu. You know, you need to wrap this up. You can't do this. Oh, please. Pretty please. You need somebody to get over there and stand in his face and say, we're shutting off the fucking money. Not another penny. Not another goddamn rocket. Not another bullet. Nothing. And we're not talking about we're going to negotiate. This is what the fuck's going to happen. Yeah. We don't, we're trying to be the gentle. We're trying to do gentle parenting. While Netanyahu keeps looking at Blinken going, fuck you. Where my money? Where my missiles? We need, we need more missiles for the Iron Dome. Stop sending fucking missiles for the Iron Dome. Stop it. Stop that shit right now. Don't ask and please don't go into Gaza. Don't take a land from Gaza. Stop that shit. Stop kissing Netanyahu's ass. Full stop. We're sick of it. It's to the point where our own government passed a goddamn resolution that you can't speak against Israel because it's considered anti-Semitic. Tell you what, give the land back to the natives since you can't handle this shit. Yeah, I want Africa as a nation, I want those countries to eject all of these nice colonizers who've been holding them back. I've talked to people on live, and I don't see why Africa can't get itself together. <coughs> Excuse me? With all the grubby little hands from all of the first world nations. Well, you know, Palestinians didn't do anything. Uh, we've sent money there and they, you mean we've sent money through the hands of Israel. You mean we've, Israel refuses to allow them to do any deals. You mean Israel sent out the clarion call Come home to the motherland. And we've got motherfuckers that move there from Florida, New York, California, Kentucky. Talking about they're coming back to the motherland. When their parents weren't born in Israel. Their grandparents weren't born in Israel. And over half of them converted to Judaism. But talking about they're coming home to the motherland. What, what motherland? Your motherland is Russia. Your motherland is the Ukraine. Your motherland is France or England or Australia. That's your real fucking motherland. But you're over there talking about, I'm Jewish and I feel the call of the land. Oh, well, you know, that Palestinian's been in, I like the house. Uh, I don't care that their, their parents have lived there for over a hundred years. I feel the call. The fuck? Hell no. They're stealing home and lands from people who have 200, 300 year old graveyards where their parents are and grandparents and ancestors. But you've got fucking grubby little hand Americans running over there talking about they, I feel, I feel the call of the motherland. Strangely, when the missiles started firing, those so-called Israelis, Americans, flew back home to here. You don't feel like trying to call. Fuck you, Netanyahu. Fuck you. Fuck you all the way off. And my government? Fuck you for what the huck the hell you're doing. There are babies, children. You think this is a way to get rid of Hamas? Hold up. Need I remind you? When people of my color fought for freedom, you lynched us. 
You beat us. You drug us. And with every generation, we kept fighting. We kept pushing. We kept trying to become free. Do you think the same shit isn't going to happen with Palestinians? You're giving birth to a whole new generation of Hamas. We're going to get rid of, even if you drove them completely out of Gaza, the children who sat and watched their mother, their father, their grandfather, their grandmother, their brothers, their sisters die, will come back. So when do you think it ends? When do you think it ends? Do you think they're going to fucking stop? Well, we've driven them out of Gaza, and yes, we're going to turn it into the um, Riviera with American money, with foreign investors. Yeah, that right there. Remember this shit. It ain't over. It will never be over so long as you think bombing them with American or an ordinance is going to do it. Mm -mm. No. No. I'm going to say it again. The current people over there claiming to be Jewish come from America. They come from Europe. They come from Australia. They have no fucking ties to the land other than greed, other than I want it. You know, like the folks that came to Turtle Island, got off the boat and said, I want it. Yeah. Is Hamas right? Is it good? Hell no. Right now, the Israeli government is garbage. They are over on Telegram posting pictures of someone who was ran down by a tank. IDF, IOF, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And Israeli government kept denying that they knew about it and supported it until they couldn't do it no more. That's a liar. As again, as I said, my parents taught me never trust a fucking liar. And that is the Israeli government right now. Staffed by liars and deceivers. And people who are willing to repeat to others what happened to them in World War II. The only difference is, huh, the world's not coming to help the Palestinians. Why? What's the difference? Hmm. Need to think about that a bit. Anywho, y'all have a good day. I got to punch a clock. Time to get to work. Keep these thoughts in mind. The world turns. And sooner or later, they get bumped off. We're not standing with the Palestinians. We may one day be begging the Palestinians to help us. Y'all have a good day. Just thoughts.